Grounded theory is a research method used in social science to create new theories directly from real-world data. Unlike traditional research methods, grounded theory does not start with a hypothesis. Instead, researchers begin by collecting data and then allow themes and ideas to emerge naturally as they analyse the information. This approach is particularly useful for studying new or complex topics where little is known. There are three key features of grounded theory. The first key feature is that it doesn't start with a hypothesis. Researchers go into the study with an open mind and let the data guide them, which helps avoid any preconceived ideas or biases influencing the study. The second key feature is that data collection and analysis happen at the same time. This allows researchers to adjust their data collection approach as they notice new themes or patterns emerging, making the research process more dynamic. The third key feature is building theories based on the data. Researchers look for recurring themes or concepts and use these to develop a theory that accurately represents participants' experiences. This step ensures that the theory is rooted in actual findings rather than assumptions or existing ideas. One major strength of grounded theory is that it produces theories that are closely linked to actual data, making the findings more realistic and applicable to real-world situations. Because the method relies on the data collected directly from participants, the resulting theories often provide valuable insights that can be used to create effective solutions or inform future research. The method is also flexible, allowing researchers to adapt their approach as new themes or patterns emerge during the study. This adaptability can lead to a more comprehensive understanding of complex issues, as researchers can focus on areas that become significant as the study progresses. Grounded theory does have some weaknesses that researchers need to consider. It can be very time-consuming because it requires collecting and analysing a large amount of data, which involves detailed work and careful attention to ensure accuracy. This can make the process demanding and exhausting, especially for studies with limited time or resources. Another challenge is the risk of bias since the researcher plays a significant role in interpreting the data. Their personal opinions or prior experiences could unintentionally influence how they see the data, impacting the objectivity of the results. To minimise this, researchers need to be highly aware of their biases and apply strategies to maintain objectivity, such as using peer reviews or keeping detailed notes. Lastly, grounded theory can sometimes lead to theories that are very specific to one group or setting, which may not be easy to apply to other situations without further research. There are other research methods that might be better for certain types of studies. One alternative is phenomenology, which focuses on understanding people's personal experiences and the meanings they attach to them. This approach is useful when researchers want to dig deep into how people feel about a certain topic. To learn more about phenomenology, watch this video now.